All right, it's three o'clock in the morning. May something other. I think both me and Mike are pretty damn tired. We got our stripe on. We got our finish coat on. That's our last coat of base paint on there right there. We got a couple of spots where we're gonna do some touch up spraying tomorrow before the clear goes on. But that's it, sports fans. We're in the pink. There's my other stripe across the trunk. Top. Got plenty of coverage. I'd have to say that after all the coats of paint that went on there, I think we're up to like five coats of pink paint on there. I know I've sprayed three gallons, a shade over three gallons of pink on the car, including all the cut in. Had a little trouble with the bugs and the bugs and the dust tonight, but we managed to sand that out. Mike showed me how to how to do that. Mike actually did the taping off of the stripes. I figured it'd be best to leave that to him. I could really screw that up real quick, like. Just a little bit of pale, a little bit of, little bit of a touch up right, right there. We're gonna have to do just a little bit of touch up right there. Put a little more paint on that. Got just a little bit of the, 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 the color just a little thin right there. So we're gonna hit that one more time tomorrow, along with a couple of. I don't know if you can pick them up on the drawings. You might be able to see them up there. Uh, you can see some little, some little, little patches just there on the other side of the black stripe where we had some some gnats or something work their way in. We've wet sanded that down with thousand grit. We're gonna come in here tomorrow and we're gonna touch that up. Mike's gun was a lifesaver. Uh, his gun lays that paint down a hell of a lot nicer than that finish line does, but. You know, it's kind of hard to compare the two guns. One's $175, the other one's a $700 gun, so it's kind of not even fair to compare the two. Uh, I could have probably got it down with my cheap gun, but I'd have had a lot more headaches. Uh, tomorrow would have been the real test of the gun, that, that, that finish line gun that I bought. It's probably, it would have probably struggled really hard with the clear coat tomorrow, but we got an Awada gun for that. He's gonna let me borrow. He's gonna let me ruin his Awada gun tomorrow. How much does that Awada gun go for? 330. That's it? Mike owns the body shop in town, right up the road from me. I'm not sure how in the blue hell I snookered him into coming in here and working on this with me, but I did. I managed to sucker him in here. But there's the black stripe coming across the front of that hood. Tomorrow I'll probably break out the hood scoop before he ever gets here and scuff and sand it up and get it smoothed down. And then I'll probably lay some black paint on it too. That way we can clear coat it with the rest of the car and then get that damn hood scoop bolted down Nothing to make me happier to see that hood scoop on there. But she looks pretty good. Strangely enough, after talking with Mike, he's, he's learning me some stuff here. And uh, all this texture, you probably can't see it on the video, but all this texture that's in the, in the paint, he says that the clear coat will bury it. And I have to believe him. He owns a body shop. I'd like to think he knows what the hell he's doing. That's uh, that's the state of the union right there.